Good day, grade 12s. Welcome to this next lesson in mathematics. Um, in this lesson, we're going to carry on with sequences and series. In the last couple of lessons, we were learning geometric sequences and arithmetic sequences. In the last lesson itself, we actually did some quadratic sequences and we just started on them. So we're going to carry on with them and then we're going to do some mixed examples from exam questions. And then if we have time, we're going to move on to functions and inverses of functions. Okay, again, I'd like to urge you guys to join our grade 12 mathematics class so that you can message me and you can ask me questions. Um, and also you can basically ask me for certain sections to be covered, etc, etc. So those are all good reasons to join the class. Okay, now let's get started. So we did this yesterday and I wanted to go through it again because of the fact that this gives you the basic rules on how to solve any of your quadratic sequences. There is a very long way to go about it where you do simultaneous equations, but that's crazy. So I'm going to show you how to do this and then there are some things you have to memorize. So. It says the general formula for a quadratic sequence Tn is equal to An squared plus Bn plus C, right? So the Tn, if n equals 1, is going to be A times 1 squared plus B times 1 plus C. Okay, so do you agree that that's just A plus B plus C? If n equals 2, we've got 4a plus 2b plus c. And if n equals 3, we've got 9a plus 3b plus c. Okay, and this is our term 1. So whatever is the first term of our quadratic sequence is defined as a plus b plus c, where a is the first term in the general formula, b is the second term or the second coefficient, and c is your third term. Now we want to get the first difference. So we need to subtract these things. So now we're going to subtract that. So we're going to go 9a minus 4a is going to be 5a. 3b minus 2b is plus b, and c minus c goes away, right? And if we subtract these two, 4a minus a is 3a, and 2b minus b is plus b. So do you see that this here would be our first difference? So our first difference is written as 3a plus b, and then to get the second difference, we need to subtract again. So we go 5a minus 3a is 2a and b minus b is zero. So that is our second difference. So we allow the second difference to equal 2a. The first difference is gonna be 3a plus b. And the third difference is, I mean, the, the first term is a plus b plus c. Okay, so let's use that in our next question. So it says find the general formula for Tn. So we know that Tn is equal to An squared plus Bn plus C. We know that term 1 is equal to A plus B plus C. We know that term 2 is 3A plus B. And we know that, sorry, not term 2, we know the first difference. And we know the second difference is going to be 2a. Let's just check that. We've got a plus b plus c. We've got 4a plus 2b plus c. 9a plus 3b plus c. Subtract them. You get 5a plus b. There we go. 3 and then we go 4a plus b. So you get 3a plus b is your first difference and 2a is your second difference. Right. So now we're going to use this information and unfortunately, this information you need to learn. This is not on your formula sheet. So that information you, we're going to use to find the general formula. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this nice and spaced out so that I've got space to work. So we've got 3, 0, minus 5, and minus 12. So this here is term 1. So that is equal to a plus b plus c. Agreed? Now we want the first difference. So what is that? That is going to be minus 12 minus 
minus 5, which is minus 12 plus 5, which is going to be minus 7. Then over here, we've got minus 5 minus 0, which is going to be minus 5. And over here, we've got 0 minus 3, which is minus 3. So this here is our first difference, which is allocated 3a plus b. Oopsie, let me just write that neater. 3a plus b. Okay, finally, we need to work out our second difference, which is going to equal 2a, and we can see that this becomes minus 3, mi minus 5, minus, minus 3, which is minus 2, and let's just check it. We go minus 7, minus, minus 5, which is minus 7, plus 5, which is minus 2. So therefore, my second difference is 2a. Okay, so now I can use these formulae to solve. So we know that 2a equals minus 2, therefore a equals minus 1, we just divide on both sides by 2. We now can use this and substitute into the first difference. So we've got 3 times minus 1 plus b is equal to minus 3, therefore do you agree that b is equal to minus 3 plus 3 because minus times plus is a minus, I mean take it across becomes a plus, so b equals 0. And now we can substitute both of those into this equation here. So we get a, which is minus 1, plus b, which is 0, plus c is equal to 3. So therefore, c is equal to 3 plus 1, which is 4. So my general formula is going to be tn is equal to a, which is minus 1, minus 1 n squared, plus bn which is 0n plus c, which is 4. So I would rewrite that to be minus n squared plus 4. And that would be my general formula for tn. Okay, let's try another example. Okay, this one is slightly more complicated. I would really suggest that you guys, if you know what to do, um, and you're watching this, and you're watching the recorded version of this, then I would suggest you pause it. Okay, pause it and try it for yourself. Okay, and then carry on and see if you got it right. If you are watching this live, I'm actually working quite slowly, so you guys could probably already have started this question and see if you can get ahead of me. If you have no clue what to do, no big deal, watch as I do it nice and slowly, and then what I suggest you do is then re-watch the video afterwards. You can go and click on exactly the same links that you clicked on to get here. And when you get yeah, you'll get an, the recording of the video and then you can watch it again or pause it and try the question for yourself. Okay, so again, Tn is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c. Your first term sorry, term one is going to be a plus b plus c. Your first difference is 3a plus b, 3a plus b, and your second difference is 2a. And please note that that is a different a to this. This is one of the terms that is one of the coefficients of n squared. So Another way you could do this to make it easier for yourselves is let these be x's, but let's not do that. Let's just try it ourselves. And I'm going to write it out nice and big. So I know what I'm doing. So I've got 3a plus 1, 12a plus 1, 27a plus 1, and 48a plus 1. Okay, so this here is equal to, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to write it in a different color so that you can see it becomes a plus b plus c. Okay, that term there is a plus b plus c. Different a. Right, now let's go back and find the first difference. The first difference the first difference um, is um, going to be 12a plus 1 minus 3a plus 1. So if you look at that, you can see that it is going to be 12a minus 3a is 9a. Hang on, just let me 
erase this, is going to be um, 9a plus 1 minus 1 goes away. And now we need to do the second one, which is going to be 27a plus 1 minus 12a plus 1. So you've got 27 minus 12. So if we subtract that, we get 15a. So that there, this here, is our first difference, which is going to be, what is it? It is 3a plus b. So that equals 3a plus b. Remember, they're different a's. You can't cancel them. Right, and now finally, we want the second difference. And the second difference is going to be 15a minus 9a, which is 6a. And that is equal to 2a. Right, so now I'm going to give you a minute to try this for yourselves and then I'm going to show you how to do it. Right, so how did you do? Let's try it now. So we're saying that 2a equals 6. Now remember this a is different to this a. So we're solving for this a. So we're going to go 2a is equal to, right, 6a. So now to get this little red a, we're going to divide both sides by 2. So this cancels this and this becomes 3. So we've got that little a is equal to 3a. Little a is equal to 3a. Now we're going to use this and substitute that into this equation. So wherever we see a red a, we need to write 3a. So we're going to go right, let's do this. We're going to go 3 times by 3a, okay, red, plus b is equal to 9a. Right, so now we're solving for the B. Okay, so now life gets a little bit easier. 3 times 3 is 9A plus B is equal to 9A. So it cancels and B is equal to 0. Awesome. So now we know that A is equal to 3A, B is equal to 0, and now we need to find C. So we're going to substitute into this equation and this one. So we're saying that a plus b plus c is equal to 3a plus 1. So now, sorry, a, remember, is 3a plus 0 plus b is equal to 3a plus 1. These cancel and then b is equal to 1. Sorry. That is 0 and that's supposed to be a C. So C is equal to 1. Therefore, we now have that C equals 1 and we can write our general formula and we can write it in a random color to black. So we got TN is equal to A N squared, which is 3 A N squared plus 0. So we're not going to write it. And the C is 1. And that is our final answer. So this was a nice tricky question because you actually had to work it out nice and slowly. And you had to be careful of the fact that a variable in the actual question had the same letter as this. And you're welcome to change this. You could have changed this to a D and this would be a D and that would be a D and that would be a D and then carry on. I'm just nervous that you do that and then you not know what, not know what's going on. So. If you struggle with questions like this and feel free to do them in color when you are 
practicing okay or when you're doing these questions right let's do another example so this time we use t which makes life a lot easier so we got tn is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c i would really urge you grade 12s to write this on your formula sheet or on your question paper the minute you get into exam paper and you're allowed to write because if you write before you're allowed to write it's called cheating and then what you do is you write it down so that you'll remember it so then you don't have to worry about the fact that when you get to a question that's on quadratic sequences you might have got a bit nervous it might be quite far into the paper and you might be a bit tired and you might not remember. So it's always good to write this down. If you really want to, you can work it out using this. Yeah, if, you, if you're desperate, you can actually work it out. So it's not a big deal. But since that would take time in your exams, I would suggest that this is the one time that you could just learn it. Okay, so let's write this down and go t minus 2, 4t minus 1, and 16t plus 1. So we know that t minus 2 is equal to a plus b plus c. Okay, now we need to find the first difference. So 4t minus 1 minus t minus 2. And then we've got 16t plus 1 minus 4t minus 1. Okay, so this becomes 4t minus 1 minus t minus minus, minus plus 2. Or, and this one, 16t plus 1 minus 4t minus minus, minus is plus 1. So let's add up our like terms. This becomes 3t plus 1. And this year is equal to 3a plus b. And let's go back. And then this is 16t minus 4t is 12t plus 1 plus 1 is plus 2. So that is your first difference, right? Now we can work out our second difference by going 12t plus 2 minus bracket 3t plus 1, which becomes 12 minus 3 is 9t plus 2 minus 1 is plus 1, and that is equal to 2a. So this bit here is equal to 2a. Now the reason I did these so slowly is because of the minuses. Whenever you put minuses inside the bracket within the questions, I would really suggest that you take it slowly and put brackets around because otherwise you could make mistakes by not multiplying out and then this would be wrong. Whereas yeah, it's basically going to be 3t plus 1, you just it's going to be minus anyway, so it's fine. Okay, so we've got 2a is equal to 9t plus 1. Therefore, a is going to be 9 over 2t plus a half. I don't know if that's very useful to me, but I'm going to try it, okay? Or I could rewrite that as 9t plus 1 over 2. Let's see how that works. Now I'm going to substitute that into here. So if I do that, and I'm going to write it over here, we've got 3 times 9t plus 1 over 2 plus b is equal to 3t plus 1. Okay, so if I multiply this, okay, it becomes, hmm, 9 times 3 is 27t plus 3 all over 2 plus b is equal to 3t plus 1. Let's multiply everything by 2, so you end up with 27t plus 3 plus 2b is equal to 6t plus 2. And I'm running out of space, so I'm going to write up here on the top right hand side. So 27t minus 6t is 23t. And then plus 3 minus 2 becomes plus 1 plus 2b equals 0. So obviously we're solving for 2b, so let's take everything to the other side. So we've got 2b is equal to minus 23t minus 1. So b is going to be minus 23t minus 1 all over 2. What a horrible sum. Okay, so let us have a look at this. So now we've got b, now we want c. 
Okay, so I'm running out of space, so I'm going to erase a little bit. What shall I erase? Let's erase all this stuff here. We don't need it anymore. What a horrible sum. Sorry, no offense, but it's a horrible sum. Okay, right, let's have a look. Okay, so we don't need this anymore. Right. So now we're using a plus b plus c is equal to t minus 2, okay? And we might as well do it in purple. So we've got a, which is 9t plus 1 over 2. So that's 9t plus 1 over 2 plus b, which is this horrible thing, minus 23t minus 1 all over 2 plus c is equal to t minus 2. Okay, so then let's multiply everything by 2 to get rid of it. So we've got 9t plus 1 plus minus 23t minus 1 plus 2c is equal to 2t minus 4. Let's add up all the like terms. So we've got take everything to the one side. Okay, let's take everything that's not a c to the other side. So we've got 2c is equal to 2t minus 4 minus 9t minus 1 plus 23t plus 1 okay so yay these cancel that's quite nice and then we've got 2c is equal to 23 minus 9 is 14 plus 2 is 16t minus 4 so therefore c is equal to 8 minus 2. All right, at least C is a nice number. Okay, right, so now let's write it in. So we've got Tn is equal to A, which is going to be 9T plus 1 over 2 in squared, plus B, which is minus 23T minus 1 over 2 in plus 8T minus 2. And you do not need to simplify. That's how easy it is. Not, not difficult, just tedious and horrible. Horrible, 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 horrible. Um, but did you see that actually, um, if you work through it nice and slowly, you can actually get it without too much stress. You just need to apply your formula and go through it nice and slowly. Right, now we have to do this question here. So this question is a little bit different. Okay, first of all, they tell you it's a quadratic sequence. Okay, so we know that Tn is equal to a n squared plus b n, b n plus c. Okay, we also know that normally what happens is we've got term one, term two, term three, right? These two, term two minus term one, is going to give me my first difference, okay? And term three minus term two is going to give me some number. And then there can be T4 could be giving me some number. And then if I subtract these two, do you agree I would get my second difference? Do you agree? So let me just erase something here. This is term two minus term one, right? There. So they tell me that term 2 minus term 1 is 7. They also tell me term 3 minus term 2 is 13. And term 4 minus term 3 is 19. So do you agree? I could say, well, 13 minus 7 is 6. And just for fun, I could write down that 19 minus 13 is 6. So now we have the second difference. How cool is that? We've got the first difference. So now we can answer some of these questions. The first thing they ask us is, what is T5 minus T4? What is T5 minus T4? Well, if you look at this, do you agree that this that these two have to have a difference of 6 because my second difference is 6. Okay, 13 plus 6 is 19, 7 plus 6 is 13, so therefore 19 plus 6 is going to be 25. So therefore T5 minus T4 is going to be 25. 
Now they want us to find out T70 minus T69. T70 minus T69. So that is a bit interesting. And notice that there is, I'm just sticking at this, because I calculate the value of T69 if T89 is. Okay, so they want us to find T70 minus T69. So the best thing to do with this in order to solve this problem is to find this general formula. Do you agree? Because then we could find T70 and T69 and just subtract them and find the answers. So let's do that. So we know that, well, could we do it? Let's have a look. We know that the second difference, okay, 2a has to equal 6, therefore a is equal to 3. We know that the first difference is made of 3a plus b is equal to 7. So we've got 3 times by 3 plus 1, is, sorry, plus b is equal to 7. So it's 9 plus b is equal to 7. So do you agree that I could say, sorry, I'm just thinking that b is equal to minus 2. Okay, I'm thinking, and this is a plus b plus c. But actually, I'm pretty sure I can do this by looking at this series alone. Do you see that I, if I look at just this bit, forget about the fact that this is a quadratic, if I just look at this bit, do you agree that, let me just write this in a different color, we've got 7, 13, 19, 25. The difference between these two is 6, the difference between these two is 6, the difference between these two is 6, right? Do you agree? So that's actually an AP, where the first term is 7 and the common difference is D. Okay, so if you think about this, term 1 is T2 minus T1, term 2 is T3 minus T2, term 3 is T4 minus T3, and term 4 is T5 minus T4. So term 70 minus T69 is going to be T69. That's what we actually want. We want the 69th term of this arithmetic sequence. So if we do that, we can say Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1d. Remember that this is an arithmetic sequence and also remember that this is on your formula sheet. So your first term is 7 plus the 69 times by the common difference of 6. So let's pop that into our calculators and just work out what that is. So we go clear and we go 69 times 6 equals plus 7 equals and that's 421. So therefore that there is going to be 421. That's quite cool. I like that. Okay, right, let's go back now to what they're asking us in the last bit because we're actually going to not use this AP now. We're going to use TN and we're going to be sneaky. They tell us that we must calculate the value of T of 69, the 69th term, if they give us that the 89th term is 23594. And we're going to use that information to work out our A this a, the coefficient of a. We've already worked out a little, I mean, sorry, of c. We're going to work out c with that. Sorry. We're going to, we've already worked out a. We're going to work out c. Okay. a, we said, well, 2a equals 6, therefore a equals 3. Cha ching b was 3 times 3 plus b equals 7, therefore b equals minus 2. So we know that tn is equal to 3n squared plus minus 2n plus c, and that's the general formula, but we still need c. But we know that t89 is equal to this huge number over here, 23,594. So we can substitute in. We can say 23,594 equals 3 times 89 squared minus 2 times 89 plus C. And we can solve for C. So let us do that on our calculators. So we're going to go, right? 
obviously we're going to, uh, let me just rewrite this. So it becomes 23,594 minus 3 times 89 squared plus 2 times 89 is equal to C. I'm just taking all of this and putting it to the other side of the equals line. Now we can put it into our calculators. So we're going to go 23,594 minus 3 bracket 89 bracket squared plus 2 bracket 89 close bracket close bracket equals 9 so therefore we can say c equals 9 awesome so now we know that tn is equal to 3 n squared minus 2 n plus 9 and now it's very easy to work out t69 so let's do that but before we do that let me just erase some stuff so that you have space to see what i'm doing by the way grade 12 this is an old exam paper question it's a very nice question it's obviously worth a lot of marks um but this tests both your knowledge of arithmetic series and sequences as well as your um quadratic sequences and series and the fact is that you have to think a little bit out the box okay so it's a very nice question and i would expect something similar to this in a nice challenging exam paper okay so let's have a look so now we want the value of t69 so t of 69 is going to be 3 times 69 squared minus 2 times 69 plus 9. So we're going to pop that into our calculator and we're going to go clear. 3 times 69 all squared minus bracket 2 times 69. Mm, that's not going to work. 2 times 69 close bracket plus 9 equals 14,154, 14,154. There we go. Nice question, hey, very nice question. Right, let's have a look. Okay, so this again is an exam paper question that I've taken, and obviously it's all the different parts of it. It says, given the quadratic sequence minus one, minus seven, minus 11 P, then it says write down the value of p, determine the nth term of the sequence, and then gives you some other stuff to do. So let's do this, write down the value of p. So we've got minus 1, minus 7, minus 11, and p. The difference between these two are minus 7 minus minus 1, which is minus 7 plus 1, which is minus 6, right? The difference between these two are minus 11 minus minus 7, which is minus 11 plus 7, which is minus 4. So I'm going to take a wild guess that since the difference between these two is 2, that this is going to be minus 2. So therefore we have to add minus 2 to this and it becomes minus 13. Okay, everybody happy with that? Let me show you again. The difference between these two and these two is minus 6. And it's minus 1, minus 6 gives you minus 7. Minus 7, minus 4 gives you minus 11. The difference between these two, so we've got minus 4, minus, minus 6, is minus 4 plus 6, which equals 2. So the difference between these two is 2 which means that if I add 2 to minus 4, I get minus 2, which means I have to add minus 2 to minus 11, which gives you minus 13. So therefore, this value here is minus 13. Now it says determine the nth term. Okay, so that means I already have 2a, that this is 3a plus b, and this is a plus b plus c. So I can work out tn, which is a n squared plus b n plus c. So 2a is equal to 2, which means a is equal to 1. 3 times 1 plus b is equal to minus 2, I mean, sorry, minus 6. Therefore, we've got b is minus 6 minus 3, which is going to be minus 9. And then you've got 1 minus 9 
plus C is equal to minus one. So therefore, this is one minus nine is minus eight, plus C is equal to minus one. Therefore, C is going to be equal to minus one plus eight, which is seven. So my general formula TN is going to be one, hmm, one N squared, in case the one goes away, minus nine N plus seven. Okay, now it says, the first difference between two consecutive terms of the sequence is 96. Okay, the first difference between two consecutive terms is not found. Okay, so this is a different question. I don't even know why it's on the same slide. I apologize. It says the first difference between two consecutive terms of the sequence. Oh, my bad. It says the first difference between two consecutive terms of the sequence. Find the values of these terms. Oh, I get it. Okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. Sorry. Okay, so now let's have a look. It says the first difference between two consecutive terms of the sequence is 96. Okay, so do you agree with Tn is equal to n squared minus 9n plus 7? Okay. Now it says we've got two consecutive terms and it says the first difference between them is 96. Okay, so if Tn is equal to n squared minus 9n plus 7, do you agree that Tn plus 1 would be n plus 1 squared minus 9n plus 1 plus 7? So the next term, okay, between the next term would be this, right? which could be written as n squared plus 2n plus 1, I'm just multiplying this out, minus 9n minus 9 plus 7. So therefore that becomes n squared plus 2n minus 9n is minus 7n plus 1 minus, okay, plus 1 plus 7 is plus 8, minus 9 is minus 1. So that is t of n plus 1. But now it says the first difference between two consecutive terms. This, so this would be term 1 and this would be term 2 in two consecutive terms. And they want the first difference, which means we have to subtract them. So we're going t of n plus 1 minus tn. That equals 96. And we want to find out what these terms are. That's what we want to find out, the values of the two terms. So in order to find out the values of the two terms, we actually need to find out what the n is. Do you agree? So, let's do this. So, we've got n squared minus 7n minus 1 minus bracket n squared minus 9n plus 7 all equals 96. So, it becomes n squared minus 7n minus 1 minus n squared, I'm multiplying out the bracket, minus times minus is a plus 9n, minus times a plus is a minus 7 equals 96. This cancels with this, and you get 2n minus 1 minus 7 is minus 8 equals 96. All right, so then we say, okay, fine. Um, therefore, 2n is 96 plus 8, so therefore 2n is going to be 104, therefore n is going to be 52. Excellent. So now we know what n is, it is 52. So do you agree we can now find out what the value of the 52nd term is? So if we do that, we can say, well, we've got 52 squared minus 9 times 52 plus 7. And we can just substitute that or put that into, pop that into our calculator. We clear. We have 52 squared minus bracket 9 times 52 bracket plus 7 equals 2243. So we're saying that the 52nd term equals 2243. So the first value, the values of the two terms, the value of the first term is 2243. 
okay? So the first one is 2 to 4, 3. The second one, we could either substitute in 53, because we know that this is just n plus 1, or we could just add 96, because that's what we worked on. We said the first difference was 96. So we could just add 96, and you get a 9. 9 and 4 is 13, carry 1, and there you go. So the first number is 2, 2, 4, 3, and the second number is 2, 3, 3, 9. Sure, okay, that was quite a hectic question. Nice question, but, but busy, okay? You needed to think of, out of the box, and I would say that it's definitely a level 4 question because you had to think about the fact that you had two consecutive terms, so you had to use your general formula for that. You had to work out the first difference, which means you had to subtract them, let that equal 96, find out what the nth term meant, so you solve for n, and then substitute that back into the tn, and to find out the value of the terms. Sure, okay. Right, and we will start this tomorrow. We will start doing the revision of the different types of questions like geometric series and the arithmetic series and combinations of them tomorrow. And then we will move on to functions and inverses of functions. Have a great evening.